Hey there friends, Jen Luna here with Jen Luna Designs coming to you with another Canva tutorial. Now today I'm going to walk you through how to create gradient text in your social media post or you can even do this in a presentation or maybe even a brochure that you're handing out. A um, number of things that you could use this for and it's um, a really fun way to kind of create um, some different color here. Now. I've done gradient text in some of my designs. I'm just going to open up a new post here. I've done gradient text um, by changing the color of each letter. And um, you can definitely do that. That definitely gets time consuming. Or changing the color or different words. Um, gone over that in a couple different posts before. Um, but this is a way to kind of use a photo um, in, in the letter frames and kind of create that gradient text. So many different ways to create gradient text. Um, this is just a fun way where you're not just doing um, the alternative version that I was just mentioning. You really are just limited to one color. And here you can see where there is an array of color in each letter. And this is really only achievable by using photos um, as the background in these photo frames. Now, I'm gonna just show you how to replicate this one design here. I've got a new page that I've added. And I am going to look for the letter frames first. So we're going to <laughs> magic. They're right there. <laughs> Let me go back and show you where you can actually find them. So under elements, um, not under recently used because you probably never used them before. Um, under photo frames and under frames here, this is where you can find a myriad of different types of frames. Um, if you've never used this section, you can find the computer or a laptop or an iPhone. Um, it's really fun. Different, different shapes to drop in photos to. And you can find all the different letters here. You can also just type in letter frame into the search bar. So if you forget at some point like where this is actually at, um, you can just search for letter frame and that is going to bring up these different letters. Uh, the downside of these photo frames in terms of style design is there's not an, a variance on the different fonts. Like there's just this one style. <laughs> That's it for now, and uh, hopefully Canva is has plans to design something else which has you know a different font style. But for now, um, this is great, and we can have some fun with this. So I'm going to replicate that text that said "new post." I'm going to click on the N, size this down a little bit, and uh, just get this all lined up. Okay, I've got that to, um, to the sizing that I think is the same. I'm going to go up to position and select one of my favorite buttons, tidy up, like things tidy. Now this is going to ensure that the spacing in between the letters is exact and also that it's lining up on the same line. Um, after this is all tidied up, I'm going to group it and at that point too, you can also center it. So now it's going to be in the center of the design. All right, so now we're going to create the word post. And I want to make this around the same size. Of uh, the word new. So we'll just size this down. And got my last letter here, T. We're going to size this down. Okay, now I'm going to space this out just a tad. Oopsies. Control Z, <laughs> make that go back to the size that it really needs to be. And I'm going to position again and uh, tidy up. And then I'm going to group these. Um, you know what? I'm going to ungroup those so they're a little. I, I want these spaced out just a bit more. We'll make this we'll make these letters a little bit smaller than the new just because it's a longer word and I just want the letters to be spaced out a bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to select all the letters again, go to position, tidy up. Everything's in place and group them. Do not try to center <laughs> without grouping cuz here I'm going to ungroup. If I go to center, all the letters go 
to the center. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do Control Z so that goes back to to normal. So you need to group the letters, then select position, and now you've got them centered in the middle of the design. Okay, so now we're going to go find a gradient image. So we're going to go under photos. Um, so these are um, ones that I looked up before, but um, you can just type in the word gradient and you'll see a number of different colors, um, some with some cool patterns, um, some it looks like a little bit of watercolor. I think the one that is most effective, I would, I would stay away if I was creating something like this with this sort of image where there's only a slight change of color on this small corner. You want something that's got, you know, some, some contrasting colors that will pop out when you're placing it into the, into the text. Now I'm going to select the one that I used before and put this into the photo frame. Now I'm going to double click on the letter and this is where you're going to kind of see how you can expand it out and you're going to want the color to kind of shine through a little bit more across the design post here. Um, you're going to get it to spread out a bit than you would if it was just so if you're selecting in the letter, now you've got where it's just taking, you know, basically a small snippet of that whole, that whole image. When I um, select on here, you, you're going to get a, a better variety in terms of how the gradient lays out in the text if you expand it over the design. And that will make more sense as I get through the other letters here. And I want to do the same size for even the, the text on the other line too. So I'm just expanding it out and making sure it fits within the design here. So it's about the same for each one. Now one thing you could do is that if I wanted it to look a little bit more drastic on post here, I could shift this a little bit more. I could even expand this out if I wanted the text to really drop off a bit here and be a bit more dramatic. Now I can add the image that I had here, this wedding photo, and just drop it in the back of the post. You can add that beforehand. Um, but because the the frame itself is like a drop in frame, I don't unless you lock it, which which you totally can, you can lock this and then the gradient wouldn't try to fall back into that frame. But like if I unlock it and you're trying to drop this in there, you can <laughs> you can get one of those. That looks cool. Um, but might not be the style that you're that you're looking for. Another option here too is if you're looking through the gradient elements that are available, the gradient photos rather, are going through the gradient and you've got these ones that are popping up. If you go up here, you've got background, you've got specific colors of so blue, green, yellow, black, white, red, pink, orange. Um, so quite a spectrum here, but if you wanted to select colors that are very specific to your brand, because I know a lot of us have, you know, traditional brand colors and you just want to make sure that those colors match up, you can make your own gradient picture. Now what you do is go back into elements, click out of here of the frames, and I am going into the gradient section and I'm going to select the square and I have to expand it out so it's going to fit. The whole box and now I can change these colors. So say that I want to use some of my pink colors and maybe I want to make that like a creamy color 
And now what you would just do is you would download You would just download this as a PNG and I'm going to upload this and show you guys like how you could actually just do this for yourself. If you wanted your own specific brand colors, you can just make your own if you can't find it. So I'm going to upload this from my device. And as you can see, I could just completely customize this. I mean, I want to still go back and do the same thing of expanding the text so you have, you know, that extended color variants um, across the text. But we could just make this our own branded colors. Um, it does default to just that small option anytime you change up the color, just just an FYI. So um, you would have to go in there and change it and uh, expand it out like we did with the other the other letters in the other color. But just gives you an idea of some of the really fun things that you could do when it comes to gradient text. And this one, because it's kind of lighter on one side, I'd probably expand this over and now it goes like light to dark, which can be really fun. I hope you guys get the idea. If you have any questions, please give me an email or shoot me an email at Jen at Jen Luna Designs. I hope this post was helpful and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.